Just, just give me some money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked it up. Since I've got a no. If there's something you wanna do, just do it Don't let your head stop your heart from moving If there's someone you wanna talk to, talk to Who knows who we be if we just hit driving to Target we're on our way and we're gonna be um, returning some clothes some old clothes from the antenna and um, if you didn't really know, already know about the hack if you go to Target like for like any clothes Target brands you can get your money back for them it has to be like a it's like a year warranty mama yeah and you get your money back for it so that's what we've been doing then when you get the money we spend on more clothes then we turn it again. So we always have the same amount of money at Target. Just the same amount. And I suggest getting the Target app so that would help with your receipts if you're not good at keeping up receipts. And that's basically it. We're just on our way. Wanna say anything, mommy? On our way to Target, as she said, you know, we're going on a little mom and daughter date. Chris is home with his other daughter. That's where he should be. She and him. <laughs> Stay right as well. <laughs> Um, so for the persons who, well, probably most of y'all don't know, but Tania had a little accident, um, one of these evenings, she was running to hug her sister Aww. from the bus, and because she have two left foot, the cracks, the socks, <laughs> everything, she turned over, so she has some bruises here, here, on her knee, her both knees. knees. Nothing here, and you know, it's just the one on her face I'm very concerned about. What happened to your face? Nothing, my face is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, your face is pretty? Yeah. No, it's not. What happened right here? No. Below. What happened there? No. Lay below. What did you do? I need to play when I wiggle, wiggle it. <laughs> and Tenniel is very petite, so she look very. mighty, but she's very petite. But you know, I am taking the best care I can with it. So we are trying to keep her inside and keep her, eliminate her from running, which that not even possible. But she doesn't even know how to walk. Yeah, but yeah. So she, but she's good otherwise. You know, she is being Tenniel. Thank God she didn't hit her teeth or anything. Yeah. But. Yeah, so right now we're going to Target. I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing. Why is everybody speeding? I don't know. Are you speeding? May I go 50? Where did my oh. speed go? <laughs> Home. My speed limit at 45. Like, come on. Home, mama. But yeah, Home. so let's go to Target, y'all. Bye. Today's video is sponsored by Yui Ruida Bike Company. They sent over one of their kids' bike, and this one is actually a boy version. So my nephew was actually gifted this bike, and super super easy to put together. It's I we got him the 14-inch kids' bike offered with both a coaster brake and handbrake. So whichever one he's comfortable in using and you know he's young so i think this bike is the perfect bike for him when it comes on to safety each bike is equipped with sealed bearing for smooth pedaling training wheels come with 14 16 18 inch bikes that is very necessary because we're not gonna let our babies ride without training wheels making it easy to maintain balance and learn to pedal even for 
or little babies the boys and girls bike i think they have a purple one as well it has a magnesium aluminum frame strong and lightweight which creates a smoother and more compliant ride making it easy to control while still durable of course i had to get you guys a discount code it's the direct link to this bike will be posted in the description box below and the code is there as well my viewers you guys get 15 percent off look at my nephew riding his bike isn't he handsome comment below if he's handsome he's a cutie thank you once more you will read a bike company for sending over this bike for my asher absolutely enjoys it and he will be putting it to great use What is this? <laughs> brother, ooh! What's that, brother? Ooh! <laughs> Mommy, what is this? Who? You know who? I like girl, I should pull her attitude. But I don't like her. Hi, how are you? Not good, I say. The denim thing, tell me about it. Um, I believe today was the last day for it. Right. Okay. okay. And they said any denim, is that true? Um, so guys, we're in Target. Target switch up a thing for our Target say. The things them can um, no year again. Good evening, Target guests. The time is now 9.32, which means we'll be closing in 28 minutes. Uh, after 10, we will no longer be able to buy or sell. Oh, come on, let's go. Yeah. See, the store are closed, I know, too, but this is a girl that's not going to like her. I don't know where she's just... Okay, extra small. No, extra small, too. Small? Yeah, probably small. Mommy not really a buy no tights for you, still, you know? I love the colors. So subtle. This is small. Much for that. That dear right now. Wait till you go for a sale. A daddy will come in here for tea. I must say, listen. We carry some stuff in here. Target, so listen. Mm -mm. You can't jack something. You know me, I always go over. You can't jack and get my bag or something. Target. Target. Now, do you wear that again, brother? Mucky? No, Tisha, let's go. I'm not buying a tights for $25 right now. Although Target tights are a hit. Yeah, they're they're not move. But, guys, Cat so and Jack, something we can't wait till they're here again. If I make them here, and carry it right back. <laughs> and they said they want it with tags. They're trying to never come up with one next idea. Can we take off it at the one put in our one drawer? Me not play. All right, let's go. Look at that. Those are cute, but me not know is it supposed to be like soap and lotion or something? These are nice for ten room. That's very nice. Yeah. These are nice. Wow, these are so cute. Oh my god. These are everything. Look at this piggy bank me. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? 
Is this piggy bank of me? Mm-hmm. How much for it? That's in my piggy bank. Room. These rattan stuff are really nice for ten in a room. Love, 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 love them. Just tell me how much is for the piggy bank. Is there a skin or something? These are nice too. Oh, I love that. Oh, you can just hang it. Ooh, like this is little... cute. Yeah. So I took up some jeans for the girls. So this is for Tenille. And Tasia got it. these two. So. Let's see. The hair is there, denim event. I like how you post this. It is Sunday morning and we are going to drop roll, 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 drop roll to church. <laughs> Sunday morning, we're going to church. We wanted to do the nine o'clock service because we always go to church at 9 a.m. But nobody know about this morning. Everybody asleep like we never sent out the announcement yesterday. So we are going to church so i woke up at 7 25 and i was there laying down and i was on my phone replying to some emails watching chris sleep and snore like same not of church so when i woke him up it was 8 56 told him the time and i told him we we're going to the 11 o'clock service because by the ukari crook we are going to church today and i was super excited today because we're actually trying out a new church love it love it love it so um that was exciting you guys will see that i haven't found the perfect church home but but we are not big on finding a church home and you know i wouldn't say building a relationship we're not big on the traditional churches so you won't necessarily find me go to like or a traditional baptist church type like what you would find in jamaica and don't judge me hold on don't judge me wait wait no wait no judge me i'm saying this to say um i love going to church but i want to feel comfortable in myself praising god i want to go to a non a judgment free church um i don't want my neighbor to be watching what i have on and you typically find that in our traditional churches and no this is my opinion remember no you cannot oppose you can oppose to my opinion but that doesn't mean that i'm, I'm, I'm gonna change how i feel or think so <laughs> yeah that's how i feel as i said um we have never tried to go search for a jamaican based church because i don't think it is necessary and i also don't think that i should be driving like two hours to go to church on a sunday so the church that we've been going to it was a united methodist church and that was our first time going to a methodist church like religiously going um i've always got my church back home it's hillview baptist church the best church in montego bay but i've never found anything like that and as i said it's not like i was looking or searching to find something that mimics that church if i found it good um however this church that we'll be visiting today um my neighbor actually attends and she has been inviting me since i moved the past two years but i've never felt like i wanted to go i don't know however we were driving around and around um during the week and i was like what's that new building and i saw that it was a church no i did not know it was like right there um apparently i was getting it confused with another location they have nine locations you're gonna hear all of that they have nine locations here in georgia so apparently i was getting it confused with um the other locations so this one was pretty close to me and that's what drew me into attending this sunday so i was really excited i've been talking about it all week that i wanted to try this church really excited so 
here we are sunday morning prepping for church so i'm just cleaning up my meat i'm preparing salmon as usual try to eat salmon at least once or twice per week so preparing my salmon you know season up and everything so when we come back from church we can start cooking Now let's touch back on the topic of attending church because I know some people are going to take this the wrong way, which frankly, um, it's my opinion and you know, we're all entitled to our own opinions, but I like to attend a church where if, well, this one, what I love, absolutely love, I can literally leave the gym and go to church. I love that. I hate the feeling of not knowing what to wear to church or i'm wondering if this is too revealing and i know we must be modest in the um church but at the end of the day i don't want to not attend church because i have no more dresses or i've worn my dress before whatever the case is today i was talking to mommy about it and you know she said as the bible said do not do not render your garments so i always go for churches that are pretty laid back and i'm receiving the same feel of what you want when you go to church so praise and worship my favorite part and i'm gonna share this with you guys it has been since my my, my church in seattle i used to go there religiously until they switched pastors and they the new pastor was using the church as uh i don't want to say it but i felt like i was at a strip club people were throwing money on him and all of that and i wasn't comfortable and i've never returned after they changed the original pastor i've never returned the pastor before i when he talked the word of god you would feel it and today was the first day in years that i actually went to church and i felt it he was talking about spiritual warfare and praying passively and i realized for the past few months i've been praying passively and not being a prayer warrior and i want to get back into being a prayer warrior So, you know, as a real, real art girl, I don't have an iron or an iron board at my house. I refuse to. Said this already. This is what I used to iron. Very convenient, very easy, to the point. And thank God, none of us, we don't really have no clothes work or going at the detail. If we do have clothes, we need to go in at the, the bag of iron in there. The dry cleaners are right across the road. Yeah. This is my go-to. Iron my clothes. Very neat. Very nice. Love it. To the point. Catch you go out at night. Zoop, zoop, zap, zoop, zap. I'm ready to go. So <laughs> just running out um, my dress. Gonna run out Tenille's dress and Tiesha's top. Chris doesn't need any steaming because once we wash his clothes, um, we hang it up. Especially his uh, button front shirts. Ah. Uh, has he, I don't know if he's ever worn this one. I don't remember. Whatever the case is. But it never need any ironing. And thank God. Because as I said, this is my worst chore. I just don't like ironing whatsoever. But the little dress here. Needed a little, you know. We had a little crush crush here or there. By the way, both of our dresses, Tenille's and I dresses. They are super cute. And we got them on Shein um, when we were shopping for 
or vacation i think you've probably seen hers when we did the haul mine you did not see but it is super cute i'm gonna get i'm gonna go back on there and see if they have it in other colors because when i tell you love it love it and when i had it on it looked like it was a dupe from nautica it could be a dupe from nautica could be a dupe from old navy just the whole um stripes in it absolutely love it and then it has buttons that goes in the back which look very chinese-ish but i love it you know it's actually cute and ladylike actually love it so y'all are gonna see that By this time, it was about 11, no, 10.39 when I looked. And um, good timing because church is right there. But as you can see, girl is putting on her wig. Wig is from The Best. That is my company. For the persons who are new and don't know, I would like to put it out there that I own a great beauty brand it is tc10 and co we make customized wigs and we have everything beauty when it comes on to hair related and remember wearing wigs there's nothing wrong with it we're just enhancing our beauty so that's tc10 and co the link is always in the description box for all your wigs and just for you know clarity if you go on my website and you don't see a wig that you like or that you're like oh i don't think this is gonna fit me reach out to me that's what we do we customize units all the units on my website those are wigs that were customized for a prior client and we go in and we customize your unit whatever you like the length the size the color whatever it is that's what we do so just wanted to put that out there that's my baby that's what i do every day we make wigs and um you know we're going to church so we have a smell sweet so i put on some ariana ariana grande the perfume that my stepdad bought for me and my little target body spray love it don't go anywhere without it It's time to comb my little tenos here. And Tenille has been, listen, I don't want to say terrible too because I don't like saying that. But let me tell you, it's Tenille. Y'all see her face? Yeah. It doesn't hurt anymore. Quite. It hurts. No, it doesn't. Yes, you are. No, it doesn't. 
Yeah. I mean, I love your beautiful, but I want to eat it. All right, so Tenille's hair is combed. She's taken care of. Tisha is ready, looking beautiful. My perfect baby. She is God protect her, protect them. Perfect kids. Um, yeah. What was I gonna say? So Tenille is ready. I'm ready. Just to grab my little uh, my handbag and off to church we go. I'm super excited um, to see what this church has to offer because we're still looking for that church. So. Hopefully, it lives up to my expectations. So if you didn't get it, she's asking me if my feet, she was like, did your feet shrink? Yes, girl, because your mama is losing the weight. Whenever someone realizes that I'm shedding these pounds, I'm so happy. It rejuvenates me. So yeah, I had to pop it and lock it for her real quick. Target bag in your hand. With a target bag in the target bag in the target bag. In the... We are going to tell you what. Say hi, Tenille. Hi. Hi, Tenille. Hi, Tenille. That's what Say good morning. So 
Yeah. Right here, Tania. Right here. Right? <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Very front. Oh shit, that's an evil phone. With Jesus' death on the cross, he died, but he defeated sin. He defeated sin. He claimed a victory over the power of sin. That's why we can, in this life, have the power of God in us to battle sin. There's a spiritual war. We get to battle sin. This is very front. Because Jesus defeated him. Here's the first thing that's the underpinning to it. There is a spiritual world. A spiritual world exists and it's as real as the world you can see, taste, touch, smell. It's as real as the chair you're sitting on. It's as real as the floor your feet are sitting on. And although unseen, it is real and active and around us right now. And turn the lights back on. What if God would help us become aware that there is a spiritual world that we might be missing. And when you're up against it, those who are with you, those who are for you, outnumber those who aren't. Amen. Thank you, sir. Because I tell you, I look at those pictures and it just gives me a fresh awe that maybe I'm so caught in the material world that I miss there's a spiritual one. And what's more is this, the spiritual world is not just like a bunch of like little fat baby angels playing harps and like, like little devils with pitchforks, like, hey, and they're playing board <laughs> games and playing blocks. Like, here's the second point. There is not just a spiritual world, but there's a spiritual war. There's a battle happening in the supernatural spiritual world. Some of y'all are still freaked out. I get it. I get it. But you have to understand that there are opposing kingdoms. 
There's a kingdom of this world and there's a kingdom of God and they oppose each other. You've heard us say things like this before, but the kingdom of God is like a love story set to the backdrop of war. It's a God who loves. So the question is, did y'all enjoy church? Yes, we did. We absolutely did. And I'm not going to tell you guys yet, but I, I am so happy. Um, feeling good. You know, we got a warm welcome. Tenille actually went to the nursery, which was good. We were able to focus on the word of God without any interruptions. And I love that. The other church, <laughs> they didn't really extend the welcome. You know, we just attended. And I feel good about this. So, guys, I don't know. Let's see. Um, I think we have a winner here. But first impressions does last. So, we're going to continue visiting and see if we warm up to it, which I think I have. Absolutely love it. So I think we have a church home now. Let's see. And it's close to home. You know, it's pretty convenient. And I like how flexible they are. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.